Astro Camp, the elevation is around 5,500 feet. Up here, the air is thinner and the atmospheric pressure is less. And that's because there's less gravity. <laughs> this is a common misconception a lot of people have. It makes sense. Both gravity and pressure have to do with forces, but the way that they work are very different. The way that we interact with gravity is pretty straightforward. If you drop something, what direction does it fall? Down, right? Duh. <laughs> this is due to gravity. It turns out that everything has gravity and has this gravitational pull, but it takes a lot of mass to notice these effects. So the more massive a thing is, the more gravitational pull it's going to have. This is why astronauts are bouncier on the moon, because the moon is less massive than the Earth, so its gravitational pull is weaker. So how does pressure feel different than this? Imagine you're in a pool and you swim down to the bottom. Your ears start hurting. This is because all the water around you is being compressed by the water that's above you. The water down here is denser, the water molecules are closer together, and they're bumping into you from every direction with greater force than they are when you're in shallow water. Water is considered a fluid, but so are gases like our atmosphere. So the same phenomenon happens when you're on land. Air molecules are bumping into you from every direction. These air molecules bumping around is what creates atmospheric pressure. It's stronger at sea level because the air around you is being compressed by all the other air that's above you. If you're at a higher elevation, that means there's less air above you. Less air above you means it's less compressed around you. Less compression means it's not bumping into you as hard. And not bumping into you as hard means there's less atmospheric pressure. To be fair, atmospheric pressure can't exist without gravity. If the Earth wasn't pulling all these air molecules down, then they would just escape out into space. But you totally can have gravity without having an atmosphere. Think of Mercury. Think of asteroids. Think of literally every object in space that exerts a gravitational pull, but it's not quite massive enough to have an atmosphere.